Thank you, Israel. I hope you can hear me and uh, good, good evening to all of you. And thank you, Israel, for organizing this. It's important uh, that your school is uh, interested in double degree programs and uh, also offering you students opportunities abroad. Um, my name is Vanita Mesquita and I'm in charge of international partnerships for the university. Simply put, it means that all agreements from all over the world have to pass through me before being approved. The picture you see in front is the picture of the campus. In the foreground is the our buildings of Illinois Tech. And we have two metro stations on the campus. You see the rail lines that cuts across the campus that takes you to the downtown area in seven minutes. Each of the buildings correspond to a department. And what is important for you to know is that a department would roughly correspond to a school at UPM. For example, the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering would correspond to the School of Telecommunications at UPM. Or the Department of Mechanical Materials and Aerospace Engineering would correspond to perhaps the School of Aerospace Engineering at UPM. So it's important for you when looking at double degree programs and master's degree programs that you focus on the department at Illinois Tech. My email address is misskeeta at iit.edu if you need to contact me later should you have any questions thereafter. The content of my presentation will cover some information about Illinois Tech and then more detail about the double degree program and how it works, the research project, and then I'll be ready for questions. The size of our university is considered to be small in terms of the US uh, standards because most American universities may have 20 or 30,000 students. We don't have that big of a number of students at Illinois Tech. We have about 7,000 students roughly on average a year. The important point about Illinois Tech is that it is the only tech-focused university in the city of Chicago. You may know that Chicago is the third largest city in the United States after New York and Los Angeles. What is unique about Illinois Tech, unlike many other US universities, is that we have more graduate students. Graduates means masters and or PhD or doctoral level students. Undergraduates means bachelor level students. In the United States, after high school, the bachelor's degree is four years, similar to what is it, what it is in Spain. After completing a bachelor of four years, which is the category of undergraduates, Students may continue for a master's and their category would be graduate. And after master's or PhD, master's and PhD fall under graduate. We have more students at the graduate level than at the undergraduate level. So why is it so unusual? Because we have more variety of master degree programs available and doctoral degree programs available. And since we have more masters and more doctoral degree programs, we have more research opportunities. A lot of universities in the United States have more undergraduate bachelor level students and fewer graduate students. So we are slightly different. So we work very well with UPM students because a lot of UPM students are interested in our graduate programs. Career placement rate means the students who receive their degree from Illinois Tech, bachelor's, master's, and or PhD, what percentage of these students are able to find jobs in the United States? 
And we have a very high career placement rate. That is 90.5% of our students with a bachelor's, master's or PhD degree are able to find jobs in the United States in their field of study. In terms of ranking and recognition, uh, the ranking that we are most um, proud of is the first one. We're number one in Illinois, in the state of Illinois, and number two in the United States for lifting students from families in the bottom 20% of the income to the top 20%. So this is a very, um, very challenging task, and we manage to achieve this. And it is in accordance with our mission to make education accessible to students who may not have uh, the financial means available. Other uh, rankings are number one in Illinois and 23 in the nation by Wall Street Journal. We are among the top 100 uh, by uh, ranked by US News and World Report as best national university, and we rank 29 as best value school. Pay scale is a ranking where it uh, looks at students who graduated from different universities in the States, and they find out what their salary is based on uh, early uh, early year salary, that means when they first start, or mid-career or end-of-career salaries. And we rank number two in Illinois and 32 in the, and 83 in the United States. You know a university by the quality of its alumni, the quality of the students who graduated from the university. So what have our alumni done or created or invented? Uh, are some of our innovations and discoveries include the cell phone. This was the inventor of the cell phone was Marty Cooper. You see the picture of the cell phone on the right. It weighed more than a kilo at the time. And Marty Cooper received his bachelor's and master's degree from Illinois Tech in electrical engineering. Another invention that you may not be aware, aware of, uh, that was an Illinois Tech invention is uh, or innovation, is the creation of Alexa, Amazon's Alexa, and the head scientist behind the creation of Amazon's Alexa, Amazon's Alexa was another student of Illinois Tech, Rohit Prasad, who received his master's in electrical engineering from Illinois Tech in 1999. Ed Kaplan also is known for having uh, developed the barcode printer, and he also graduated from Illinois Tech uh, in mechanical engineering. So there are three inventions that really have touched all of our lives and all of them are by Illinois Tech students who graduated with their degrees from Illinois Tech. Also in the news is uh, another alumnus uh, who graduated with a master's in computer science, Jack Dongara, who was a recipient of the Turing Award in 2021. For those of you who do not know what the Turing Award is, it's considered to be the equivalent of the Nobel Prize for computer scientists in the world. So Jack Dungara received the Turing Award in 2021. Another student who graduated from Illinois Tech with a master's and PhD in computer science was recently named the chief technology officer at one of the largest digital insurance companies in South Korea, Carrot General Insurance. For, for the first time, uh, we are going to create a university and in industry partnership uh, by establishing a national center for advanced manufacturing and we hope to break ground uh, by next year and have it hopefully up and running by next year. And we're partnering with one of the biggest um, leading manufacturers in the world of high precision machine tools, DMG Mori. So for those of you interested in manufacturing and anything related to uh, manufacturing, it would be an exciting time for you 
to uh, think about pursuing a master's at Illinois Tech. In terms of sports or athletics, we do have sports for men and for women. We're not considered a sports school. That means we do not play nationally competitively. We do play locally and regionally. And all Illinois Tech students can participate in any of our team sports. The bird you see at the bottom is our mascot. It's a scarlet hawk. In terms of on-campus housing, most universities in the United States offer a residence uh, accommodation or on-campus housing. We have five residence halls, and each of the residence halls, they have different configurations. Some have a combination of uh, studio or one bedroom or single rooms or a combination of three bedrooms and a common um living area and kitchen. So it's, you may choose which type of accommodation you wish should you decide to study at Illinois Tech and if you qualify for admission. I must say that for graduate level students, masters and or PhD students, living in our on-campus housing is not a requirement. It means that you can choose to live anywhere in the city uh, if, if you think it would be more exciting for you, or if you think it'd be easier for you to live in on-campus housing, the choice is yours. This is an example, the picture of a single room at one of the residence halls called Katrick Hall. The room rates are based on this current academic year. We are in the academic year, August 2023, May 2024. If you decide to pursue uh, a master's degree at Illinois Tech next year, you would fall under the new academic year, August 2024, May 2025. I provided the current uh, range of costs for room, for room only, and then also meal rates. That means how many meals you'd like to have per day and per week. Again, you're not required to live in on-campus housing and you're not required to uh, choose any meal, uh, meal options offered on campus, although it's available for you. Our partners in Spain are U Universidad Politecnica de Madrid was one of our first, where we started with the School of Telecommunication and then Industrialis and we expanded to these other schools at UPM, Politecnica de Valencia, Catalonia, Del Pais Vasco, Seville, and the IE School of Architecture and Design in Madrid, and also Icai Comias. So why study at Illinois Tech? Well, one of the reasons is that there's a partnership between Illinois Tech and your school, UPM. Number two, you have a choice of a variety of master degree programs, but most US schools tend not to offer to students uh, who are interested in double degree program. We have more than 25 master degree programs and you can choose any one of them as long as your school approves of the master's degree program. Furthermore, as I mentioned, we, we are very much focused on research. We have the advantage of being located in the city of Chicago and in the Chicago land area, there are two world famous laboratories, the Argonne National Laboratory, which is owned by the United States federal government, and Fermilab, which is the second largest laboratory in the world in particle physics after CERN in Switzerland. Both these laboratories are located within a 45 minute car ride in opposite directions. The reason I mentioned these two labs is uh, because some of our professors are part of the research teams in both of these labs. So if you're interested in a double degree program, you have to complete your travel of in the masters, which we refer to as a final research project. So you may have the opportunity of working with one of the uh, professors who happens to be part of one of these research teams. And we've had such instances before with other students. 
The tuition, the cost of the courses for the degree program is the same for all students, whether you're from Spain or from the United States. You can complete your master's degree in 12 months. Now, this is unusual. That means uh, if you are in the first year of your master's currently, and if you're pre-selected by your school, you then have to apply to Illinois Tech. If you qualify for admission, you may start your master's degree program next year, August 2024. You would complete your master's degree program by August 2025 with your Trabajo Fin the Masters included. Okay. If there are 20 of you interested in the program, we have no quotas. As long as you're pre-selected by your school, then only can you apply to Illinois Tech. If you all 20 of you qualify for admission, all 20 of you can pursue your master's degree at Illinois Tech. You will enter the United States on an F1 student visa. F1 visa means uh, those who do not have a U.S. green card or a U.S. Uh, passport are considered uh, as international students and have to come on a visa to study. And F1 is for degree-seeking students who want to get a degree from a U.S. university. The degree could be a bachelor's degree, master's, or PhD. So in your case, you're coming for a master's degree. So that will be your visa. The interesting element about the F1 student visa is that upon graduation, means let's assume you start August 2024, you complete your master's degree by August 2025. What happens after that? Well, in accordance with this F1 student visa, there's a, a provision called Optional Practical Training or OPT. This allows you to work anywhere in the United States in your field of study for up to 12 months. That means one year extra. In addition, if your field is STEM, STEM is the acronym for S for science, T for technology, E for engineering, M for mathematics. So if your field is STEM, you can work for two additional years. So all in all, with a STEM-related field, you can work for up to three years legally in the United States. So that's important for you to know. Field of study, what do I mean by field of study? For example, if you decide to pursue a master's in power engineering, that will be your field of study, okay? So you will have the opportunity to work for up to three years in your field of study. The average annual salary for a student with a master's is about uh, $65,000 a year. That's important for you to bear in mind. If you recollect, I mentioned departments. So for those of you interested in any program related to power engineering, artificial intelligence, computer vision and control, electrical engineering, computer engineering, electricity markets, all those programs, cybersecurity engineering, they're offered by the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. If you're interested in autonomous systems, robotics, aerospace engineering, mechanical engineering, manufacturing uh, engineering, fluid dynamics, that all those programs and courses are offered by the Department of Mechanical Materials and Aerospace Engineering. If you're interested in biomedical engineering, uh, uh, then you may also look at the master's program offered by the Department of Biomedical Engineering. Industrial technology and management is for students interested in supply chain management, facilities, operations, etc. Chemical and biological engineering, it tells you what they offer. Computer science offers programs in artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, data science, applied maths, um, information technology, and sometimes students may also be interested in physics. We have applied physics uh, uniquely for engineers, students who received a bachelor's in engineering. And we had one student from Teleco, from UPM, who pursued a master's in physics.
Stuart School of Business offers uh, uh, technological entrepreneurship, financial economics, marketing analytics, uh, project management. So if you're interested in those programs, you may choose any one of those offered by the Stuart School of Business as long as your school says, okay. We also have interdisciplinary programs such as computational engineering, biomedicine track, managed by the Biomedical Engineering Department. Or if you're interested in engineering management, product design and development track, that's managed by the Mechanical Materials Aerospace Engineering Department. Or if you're interested in energy systems, energy transmissions, that's managed by the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department. The MEng programs are 30 credit hours. Here are other examples of the master degree programs, uh, uh, power engineering, artificial intelligence for computer vision and control, computer engineering in IoT, Internet of Things, and a lot more. So what you see here is that we do not just offer traditional master degree programs. We offer a variety of different types of master degree programs to meet the needs of in industry, the companies always tell us they've got enough of students with uh, with a master's in electrical engineering or computer science, but they don't have the skills and competencies needed to adapt to the uh, rapidly changing technologies. So we're constantly creating new programs so that our students have the skills and competencies uh, to be um, hired by companies. The Stewart School of Business offers STEM designated programs, and some of the STEM designated programs are, are MS, so Masters of Science in Finance, Marketing Analytics, Project Management, Sustainability, etc. Let me go down now to the double degree program. So, how does it work? Uh, you would complete your second year, the first year of your master's at Illinois, uh, at uh, UPM, and then your second year at, um, at, uh, at Illinois Tech. Okay. So uh, in the second year, you would complete uh, the entire master's degree program with your research project included. The types of master degree programs at IIT, we have three types, Master of Science, um, Professional Masters, or Masters of Engineering. They are all accepted in the workplace. The Masters of Science can be 32 or 33 credit hours. The Professional Masters also may be 32 or 30 credit hours, and the Master of Engineering usually are 30 credit hours. One ECTS, one US credit is equivalent to two ECTS credits. So a 32 credit hour master's would be equivalent to 64, uh, 64 ECTS. Okay? Or a 33 uh, credit hour master's would be equivalent to 66 ECT, ECTS. Can one take any course from any department in a master's degree program? The answer is no. You have to take a certain number of core courses and then a certain number of electives based on your specialization. For example, if you choose a master's in electrical engineering, you have to take the core courses related to electrical engineering. And if you decide to specialize in um, power engineering, then you have to choose uh, from the electives uh, offered to you related to power engineering. On some occasions, uh, your academic advisor at Illinois Tech may uh, offer you the opportunity to take uh, one or two courses from another department, but it has to be approved by the professor at Illinois Tech. So let's assume you're pre-selected by uh, your school, ETSIM, and then you uh, have to apply to Illinois Tech. In order to apply to Illinois Tech, we require the proof of English language proficiency. TOEFL, IBT, 80 overall and 20 in all bands, not home edition, or I IELTS. Uh, we are not going to accept the home edition, only the official. 
6.5 overall and 6.0 in all uh, in all bands. We do not accept any other exam. Okay. The GRE is waived, and we also need your transcripts of all the marks achieved the bachelor's and master's level. And then the final decision will be made by Illinois Tech. Our academic calendar is fall and spring. So next fall will start on August 19th. The application deadline for next fall is April 15th. That means we need to receive your official score report by that time, your transcripts and your application. Transfer credit is a course uh, refers to courses that you've completed during the first year of your master's at UPM. And you may choose two courses from those uh, courses you've completed that are similar in content and number of hours to any two courses offered at the uh, at the master in the master's degree program that you intend to pursue at Illinois Tech. Uh, the, the requirements are the courses have to be master's level. You need to have obtained a 6.5 out of 10. And the content should be similar to one of the uh, elected courses in your master's degree program. If approved, you will not need to repeat those that course. Let me give you an example. If you decide to pursue a master's in electrical engineering, and let's say you've completed uh, an elective course, which is similar to uh, what is offered in the master's in electrical engineering. I'm just going to think of any course. It may not be the one offered, but let's say it's a power engineering, introduction to power engineering. And let's say you've completed it and you got a 6.5 out of 10 for that uh, uh, course, at UPM, and we also offer the similar course at in your master's program. If the content is similar, and if approved, you will not need to repeat introduction to power engineering. So your course load, if it's a 32 credit hour master's, will be reduced by three credits, because each course is worth three credit hours, or six ECTS. So 32 minus three would be 29. You're allowed up to two courses for transfer credit. So the second course could be, let's say, digital system. And again, if it's a master level course, the content is similar. You've got a 6.5 out of 10, and it's equivalent in terms of credit hours. If approved, you will need to repeat that course in digital system. So it reduces your credit load further by another three credits. So 29 minus 6, so that's 26 uh, credit hours that you have to complete uh, at Illinois Tech, which will include your project, uh, trouble or field the masters. In terms of prerequisites, uh, if you're interested in computer science, any of the programs offered by the computer science department, and if you do not have any background in computer science, make sure you have completed these prerequisites 201, 401, and 402. The description of these courses are provided here on the slide. And if you do have some background in computer science, make sure you have completed these courses mentioned here, preferably CS430, Introduction to Algorithms, and CS450, Operating Systems. For the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, you need to have completed probability stats and signals and systems. So what are the career opportunities if you decide to pursue a master's degree at Illinois Tech and you're looking for a job? So for example, I just uh, this is all on our website. For example, if you choose a master's of science in autonomous system, What's your career path? You can be a control systems engineer, a navigation and guidance systems engineer, or a robotics engineer. And this is on the website. The median salary is 105,000, and the skills required are Python Robotics CS. Or if you're interested in the M engine, artificial intelligence, computer vision, and control. 
Your career path could be an AI engineer or computer information systems engineer. And for a computer information systems engineer, the median salary is 153,000. Uh, we have, remember I mentioned that there was one student who uh, from UPM who decided to pursue a master's in applied physics. His name is Eduardo Osorio. And I asked him these questions. What were your reasons for choosing Illinois Tech? He said, meet the American culture, trying to get a job here at some point. What was your impression about the quality of teaching and content at Illinois Tech? He said, teachers are better than the ones I'm used to have. What's your impression of Chicago? It's great. There's something new to do, although a bit expensive. How are you managing your courses in English? Not a problem. What would you like to have known before coming to Illinois Tech that you'd want to share with UPM students? Said, can't think of anything that surprised me too much, which means that we're good, doing a good job uh, preparing students when they decide to study at Illinois Tech. Now for the cost. Again, this is this year's cost. So the cost per credit hour is 1,712. So if you do pursue a master's degree of 32 credits, you do the multiplication, the cost is 54,000. However, you will not pay that cost. Why? For two reasons. One, it's a partnership with uh, UPM. You, if you qualify for admission, you would receive a scholarship of 12 credit hours, about 20,000. So that's you subtract 20,000 from the total cost that already reduces the cost for your master's degree quite a bit. The third, the transfer of credit of two courses of six credits. So for example, if you pursue a 32 credit hour master's, you, if you qualify for admission, you would receive a scholarship of 12 credits. And if you approve for the transfer of credit, you would pay for 14 credits. That's about twenty-three or twenty-four thousand dollars based on this year's cost. So twenty-four compared to fifty-four thousand. So uh, here I've put it more clearly so that you can see a thirty-two credit hour masters. If you qualify for admission, the scholarship, and if you approve for the two course transfer credit. The cost may change for the next year. We do not know what that cost will be till sometime in February or March of next year. For the Stewart School of Business, if you choose the Stewart School of Business program, the scholarship is nine credit hours, not 12. However, they allow you to transfer three courses instead of two courses. So if approved, you would pay about 25,600 instead of the $56,000. Mandatory and other fees are required of all students, all the services that we offer, including health insurance, so that all students have to pay for the year. So is it worth it? You get two degrees in one year. One of them is an American degree, which is known to be recognized all around the world. You have the possibility to work for up to three years if your field is in engineering or STEM program. And you have an experience in two different cultures. And it looks like it could be a good return on investment depending on your field of study. This slide shows you some comparisons and what our international students like you would receive in terms of salaries based on their reporting. So our international students who've completed their degree and who found jobs have reported, and based on their reporting, their mean annual salary is 76,000 and the median is 70,000. So you can see that our international students do quite well in terms of finding jobs and earning a good salary. So if you borrow money to fund your education, say you borrow $55,000, to fund your education, you could pay it off in a year and a half easily if your starting salary is quite high. So uh, let's uh, compare. If you buy a new car to, for the same amount, 26,000, moment it rolls out of the showroom, the value of the car is reduced by 20%. Uh, the moment you graduate from Illinois Tech, your salary is much higher and greater than, and your value is much more than 20%.
We do have an online certificate program for those of you who may not be interested in the double degree program, which is offered synchronous, synchronously and asynchronously. And it could be for upskilling and to improve your CV, curriculum vitae, or it could be as a pathway to a master's degree program. That means you could take a course from the certificate program and then maybe later on apply towards the master's program you intend to pursue at Illinois Tech. Uh, this is an example from the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering of a certificate course. It usually comprises four courses. Each course is worth three US credits or six ECTS, so advanced electronics, and uh, the, the delivery is online, asynchronous and or hybrid, and the, it's offered in fall, spring, as well as the summer. So it says here, all courses may apply to required courses or le electives to applicable master degree programs. That could be something of interest to you because it could reduce your cost since we offer 50,000, uh, sorry, 50% 50 scholarship. So, for example, if you pursue a certificate program entirely of 12 credits, it, the actual cost is 20,500, but you would pay about 10,200, 50% scholarship or 50% of the a course. So that's pretty much uh, the end of my presentation. Here are some testimonies of students um, about their experience. They found it affordable with the IIT scholarship. They also borrowed money from banks in their respective countries. And uh, they found that it was a worthwhile experience. So I'm ready for questions if you have any questions.